right, so a bench hook is essentially just a base with a pair of fences mounted on it. And in the past, they would have been cut out of a single block of wood. You would have had a, uh, a board that was, you know, as thick as you needed it to be. You would have cut a notch on this side and a notch on that side. Uh, these days, with plywood and other materials, we can, we can use a really stable base material and then we can screw whatever fence we want onto it. And they usually come in pairs, but there's no reason why you can't have three or four of them laying around. They're very handy little appliances to have on your bench. So what do you use these for? I mean, why would you want to make a set of bench hooks? Uh, well, the, there are three things that I use my bench hooks for all the time, and the most primary one is using it as a cutting stop. Having that little fence there sticking up gives you a really great place to press against your work, gets, get a solid grip before you start cutting. The other thing I use it for a lot is to protect my workbench when I'm chopping dovetails or joinery. You know, inevitably when you're cutting, the chisel will break loose and it'll go all the way through to whatever you're chopping on and you'll end up with uh, chopping marks, chisel marks all over your workbench. And you can see this one has quite a few on there. Uh, the other thing I use this one for a lot is pairing. So uh, when I'm making workbenches, I often need to put points on the tips of my drawbore pins. And I'll use this as a backdrop to pair against. You can either pair straight down, or what I tend to do, since I'm doing a lot of pins at once, is I'll grab a seat and I'll actually press the pin against the fence and just work my way down the fence. And you can see that there are a lot of marks on the side of this fence. There are a couple other really handy uses. Uh, the fence, if you make it low enough, the fence can be used as a planing stop. So if you've got some smaller parts, you can use it to press against as you're planing. Uh, you need to keep in mind if you plan to do that, that your fence needs to be thinner than the kind of stock that you normally work with. Uh, I have a planing stop built into my bench top, so I don't use mine for that. So the fences on mine tend to be pretty thick and chunky. Another great use for a bench hook is as a shooting board for small parts. Uh, so if you plan appropriately, you can put one of your fences on in such a way that you can use it to square up the ends of your smaller boards with a bench plane that's been laid on its side.